in a prime area nestled between Accra's iconic landmarks, Independence Square and the burial place of former President John Evans at Mills, Asimdria Park. A distressing reality has emerged. This area, situated on the road leading to the former seat of government, the Christian Borg Castle, has transformed into a dumping ground and a hub for open defecation. Today in our series, Dad Failed Exhibition, Maxwell Agbaba brings us a report on this alarming situation. The Independence Square and the Independence Arch, a reminder of that the colonial masters. Right beside it is the piece of land which also serves as a reminder to some unpatriotic citizens of their freedom. Freedom to openly defecate and dump their garbage. The authorities have found the perfect spot for set down protest against waste management. Or perhaps it is the city authorities' way of saying, Happy Independence Day, enjoy the sights and smell. Right here, we confronted a man who had just finished defecating on this hallowed ground. Why were you defecating? The, through the defecating is that that little land, mm. they've been shitting there for a long time. Mm. And it was like bola, the rubbish dump. Mm. Some people are shitting in this water. But me, I know that some are using it to wash. Mm. I will not do that. Why were you defecating? Defecating here, if you are defecating here, those who are living around here, they will not call it to be a crime because it's a low land. Very soon, you see people who bring this thing. It was even deep, deep, deep down. Because of the rubbish dump, yeah. you see that it is filling. Do you think it's bad, especially because this place is very close to the Independence Square, and just right behind the walls of the Independence Square, you are defecating? You don't think it's wrong? You, I know that it's wrong, but here like this, yeah. it's very, very wrong. I know that here too, it's not here no it's not right yeah. but the way it was bush if you are here no one will call it to be a crime that's why we are so that's why we are discussing here. but if you see a person shooting here you will, you, too, you will know that that person is not normal for citizens who come here it is to celebrate our nation's freedom but what about our freedom from this mess Perhaps city authorities want to give tourists and patrons a 360 independent celebration. After watching the display and exhibition of our culture and all that we stand for at the Black Star Square, you can come here for a part two. This time, a filth exhibition. Chuck Winfred Annan is a resident. Immediately when they, they remove the presidency from the uh, Usu Castle, to the Jubilee House, that is fine. Immediately, the school that brought the national security people to the Tiro Oso Castle so that uh, they can keep this place clean. But now, see, if you see the rubbish and where the people go to the toilet here, it, it's, very, it's very bad. There's nothing going on here. They said nobody should come to the beach. And people are going to private all over. If you turn and look at the where the rubbish are, you see everything. So for me, it, it, it's terrible. Where the cast uh, independent square is, and where they go to private, it, it, I mean, it's not good. And so they, they got, they're supposed to do something about it. And so if you look at the Aston J Park, where the people are going to the private, it, my man, we, they should, the big others should do something about it. Let's celebrate independence in every sense of the word. From freedom to cleanliness, join us in our mission to turn this field exhibition into a showcase of cleanliness and pride. Maxwell Agbaba for joining you.